Today, we'll be creating these easy, cute animals out of air dry clay. So let's get into it. If you'd like to give this project a go, you'll need a 250 gram block of terracotta air dry modeling clay and a white one as well. For a modeling tool, we'll be using a butter knife. We'll also be using a small Taclon paintbrush and we'll need some water, paper towels and a base to model on. On this case, it's a dinner plate. So let's create the elephant first. Open up a pack of terracotta clay and cut it in half. Wrap the clay up because we'll be using the other half to make our hippo. We can then cut four small squares for the legs, a larger one for the body and a medium one for the head. To shape the body, we roll a block in our hands into an egg shape. Each leg can be created by rolling the small blocks into a tube shape. The leg can then be pressed onto the plate so they stand upright. Position them together and press the body shape on top of the legs and blend each clay leg onto the body. Roll the head into a round shape and create two ears by flattening out two balls. Create a crescent shape and apply them to either side of the ball head shape. To create a trunk, we roll out a tube in our hands, flatten one end and blend it onto the front of the head. The ball can then be applied to the body. While you're here, take a look around the Create section on our website and uncover a whole heap of free stuff from free projects, handy tips and tricks and techniques to keep you busy. Roll out two little cone shapes and press them onto either side of the trunk of the face. This will be our little friend's tusks. The tail can easily be created by rolling out a tapered tube and pressing it onto the rear of our model. And finally, two little balls can be pressed onto the head for the eyes. Now let's make a polar bear. Open up a block of white clay and cut it in half. Again, wrap up the leftover clay as we'll use it to make our rhino. Cut one third of the block off and cut this into four blocks. The body can be created by rolling the clay in your hands into an egg shape and then taper one end. Roll the four little blocks into leg shapes and press them onto the plate so that they stand upright. Position them and press the body on top of the legs and blend the legs onto the body. The ears can be created by flattening out a ball and cutting it in half. Each one of these can be placed onto the head and blended on. The nose is a little ball pressed onto the front of the head and the two little eyes can be pressed onto the head in the correct position. Finally, the tail can be rolled out into a cone shape and pressed onto the rear of the animal. For the hippo, we use the other half of that terracotta block of clay and cut one third of the clay off the block and cut it into four equal proportions. The body is rolled out into a thick sausage and then fashioned into a shape that has a larger shape for the body that takes up about one third of the area. We can then create a ball shape at the end to suggest the nose area. 
the four little blocks can be rolled into tube leg shapes, pressed onto the plate quite close together and the body can be pressed onto the legs. With this hippo model, make sure that the legs are under the body so that it looks right. Hippos have their nostrils on the top of their snout. To create these, roll two little balls and press each one into position using the end of a paintbrush. The eyes can be created from two small balls pressed onto the head in the appropriate position. The ears can be created in a similar way, only wrap the clay around the end of the brush a little more. The last step is to create the tail from fashioning a flat, tapered shape and pressing it onto the rear of the model. So let's create a rhino now. We have half a block of white clay left. Cut one third of the clay off and cut it into four equal proportions. Take the larger proportion and roll it into an egg shape and flatten one side and pinch it so there is a bit of a ridge on that end of the shape. Create the legs by rolling four small blocks into tube shapes. Press these onto the plate and then press the body onto these legs. The head can be created by creating a cone shape and doming the pointy end in the palm of the hand. Once we are happy with the shape, we can press it onto the body. Press the two eyes onto the head in the appropriate areas and the ears are created by wrapping a rolled out ball around the end of the paintbrush and pressing each one into position. For our friend's famous horn, we can create a cone shape and press it onto the front of the head and put a slight curve on it. The nostrils can be created by pressing the end of the handle of the brush into the clay and create the tail from a flattened out cone shape and press it into position. Well, thanks for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this fun lesson and hope you're inspired to create your own clay animals. You could even paint them and make them look even better. Otherwise, have fun creating and we'll see you in the next fun lesson.